Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 416 of Fallout 4. Last episode, we, we, we don't talk about it. There was there were no Brotherhood of Steel people in here, and I didn't throw a grenade, and they didn't they both explode, and I didn't do it just because I could steal power armor pieces. Nope. And I actually don't know where the other one went. I saw one fall. And I saw here. Okay, okay. They're, 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 they're both right here. I'm like, did one of those corpses blow through the wall or something? No, we're good. We're safe. Uh, <laughs> let's hack this terminal and read it. Yay, I'll have to get on my power armor for this. The Boston Bugle. The Boston Bugle. I don't, I don't know why I guess trap. Ain't gonna be trap, it ain't gonna be that. Took, uh, nope, nope, nope. Trap. Wait, tarp, tarp and trap. It's a tarp and it's a trap. It ain't gonna be door. And, no, maybe. Through. Makes sense. Troubling truth for over 50 years. My ass, mainstream nudia's. F nudia? Nudia? Nudes. My brain's going to places. Media is full of shit. Anyway, front page news, October 19th, 2077, October 23rd, 2077. Copyright the Boston Bugle. <laughs> 2077 articles may not be reprinted without permission of the editor-in-chief. Article 1. Case closed on crime boss Eddie Winter. Hey, we did this. By by Mags Vecchio. I'm guessing Vecchio? Vecchio? Something like that? Depends on how you want to say it. Anyway, Boston Bugle staff writer. I know, I know it's Bugle. And a move that has shocked and angered the people of Massachusetts, the Boston Police Department announced last night that they have ceased all investigations into the actions of the reputed organized crime boss, Eddie Winter. Uh, or crime boss, Edward Eddie Winter. Speaking on behalf of the special task force that had assembled specifically to build a case against Winter, Captain Jonathan Win Winmark, I'm guessing, of the BPD says, after reviewing the evidence with our colleagues at the Bureau of Alcohol, Alcohol Drugs, Tobacco, Firearms, and Lasers, it's not explosives and lasers, uh, it became clear that we were, in fact, wrong. Yeah, the BADD, fucking, yeah, the ATF wrong on something. Don't look at the ATF people. They're, they're stupid. Anyway, Eddie Winter was indeed a, a had a colorful history, but it's not a criminal. It's not a little. He has, he has a colorful history, but it's not a criminal history. By pursuing our case against Mr. Winter, we could simply continue. We would simply continue to waste taxpayer dollars and even worse, condemn an innocent man. It was an unexpected turn of events, to be sure, according to the Boston Bugle's confidential sources within the Boston Police Department. Innocent man was anything but. Uh, the innocent man was anything but. Uh, as uncovered by Captain Widmar Widmark's official investigation codename Operation Winter's End, Eddie Winter was involved in every crime imaginable, from petty larceny to first-degree murder. And although nothing, nothing was proved, everyone on Widmark's task force, task force suspected Winter in the August homicide death of their lead detective's fiance, Miss Jennifer Lands. A Miss Jennifer Lands. Whatever the truth, it would appear that the city of Boston has nothing more to fear from Eddie Winter. Whenever approached for comment, the alleged crime boss could not be reached. In fact, his South Boston sub shop has been shuttered, and his harborside residence completely cleaned out. Eddie Winter would seem, it would seem, has disappeared. No way. The ATF was wrong about something. No way. China showdown. The ultimate, the ultimate, the atomic ultimatum by Mag Vecchio. Vecchio. Something like that. Boston Bugle staff writer. War. <laughs> War. The, oh god, it flashbacks to the beginning of Fallout. Has there been any extended period of time in recent memory in which soldiers have not fought, bled, and died all for the sake of furthering the political goals of one government or another? The short answer is no. The longer, more terrifying answer is that we have not yet to begun experience the extent of human suffering. From Anchorage and frigid Alaska to, I'm guessing, Chanteau, on our enemy's doorsteps, the American troops have been embroiled in brutal battle. They have taken and lost many lives, a nearly uncountable number. But not entirely, because the truth is, the casualties have been countable. These conflicts, however horrible, have all been, in some inexplicable, perverted way, manageable. Through taxes and various wartime revenues, the United States government has been able to fund a standing army the likes of which this country has never seen and never foreseen. The same is certainly true of the of our mortal foe, China. And with each dollar spent comes a natural accounting uh, of how the dollar was spent. Every bullet, every bunker-busting bomb, every body bag, soon uh, soon after each is used in the theater of war, we know how every, or we know every how, when, and where. But the sad, obvious truth is that the days of manageable war have nearly come to an end. In the minds of the world's great leaders, these billions of dollars haven't merely been, sp or haven't merely been spent they've been wasted because here we are after more than a decade of constant warfare with no clear end and no clear winner in sight uh, so really at this point what other option do these superpowers have if not the nuclear one 
And therein, of course, lies the rub. For when China or the United States launches its nuclear missiles and drops its atomic bombs, there will be no one left to count the casualties, let alone or no, the ordnance. No one left to declare victory. So when, uh, so then the one only, so then only one question remains: Is there any way the powers of the world can prevent a nuclear apocalypse? If there is any hope left for the world, we must believe the answer is yes. But these are hopeless times. You were the most long-winded motherfucker of saying U.S. hates China. Yes, we can count things. Money, money, money. Politics are bullshit. Also, nuclear war. That was. This is why I don't read the news. <laughs> Boston. Boston food riots continue by Buster Connolly, Boston Bugle staff writer. And what can only be described as a scene of absolute pandemonium on Friday afternoon, soldiers of the United States Army 184th Infantry Regiment opened fire on a group of unarmed civilians after an unknown person smashed the plate glass window of the Roxbury Food Bank, prompting several people several people with uh, in the line outside to storm into the establishment. As of yesterday evening, at least four people were confirmed dead and eight others injured. But Jonathan Corman, spokesman for the Army, insists the troops acted within their authority. Yeah. The soldiers in question issued explicit verbal warnings several times. Those people knew exactly what would happen if they broke the, broke the line and attacked the food bank. Hunger is no excuse for civil disobedience, vandalism, or, in this case, starting a riot that puts the lives of every civilian in the area at risk. It is the role of the United States Army to maintain order in this difficult time, and that is exactly what happened in this instance. I would also like to point out that the soldiers of the 184th Infantry Regiment have not uh, had a food ration in two days. These men and women understand hunger probably better than anyone. It is a response that it is a response the American people have grown accustomed to, as violent scenes like this one in Roxbury have played out again and again across the country, as a starving populace tries desperately to obtain food from its for its families. They use "and" at the beginning of a sentence a lot, and it fucking triggers me. You don't use "and" at the beginning of a sentence, you dumbass news writer. And has and as has happened. Really? And as has happened so many times in the past, the civilian witness of the so-called riot tell a different tale. 85-year-old 85, uh, grandmother Hannah Henry was in line at the food bank and claims the soldiers has anything but order and liberty on their minds. They were laughing, joking about who they were going to shoot first. It was all, it was all a game to them. These soldiers may not have fired on the crowd before that window broke, but they, were, but they was looking forward to it at all, all the same. Uh, only one can hope that the violence in Roxbury would be the last in such instance our country has to suffer through. But until America finds the strength to question its domestic policies and the food to feed its people, the future remains uncertain. God, these people. We're on four, right? Yes. White House, uh, White House remains empty. Where is our president? By Mags Vaccio. Vaccio? Something. Something stupid. Boston Bugle a staff writer. For more than half a year, the West Wing of America's most famous residence has remi remained shrouded in near-complete near darkness. A skeleton crew of manual laborers remain on staff to maintain the property, but nobody has lived or worked politically there for several months. And even though the White House press corps uh, was unofficially and unceremoniously disbanded around at the same time, the media has remained steadfast in answering the most important questions. Where's our president? At first, the assumption was that the entirety of the United States government had moved operations to Raven Rock, the military operations center located in the mountainous region of Pennsylvania, just a few miles northeast of the presidential retreat in Camp David, Maryland. But further investigations have revealed that neither the president nor his cabinet have been in the Raven Rock complex in over a year. So if not Raven Rock, then where? Thanks to an extensive and uh, thanks to an extensive and exhaustive investigation, the Boston Bugle has, has has uncovered the answer, and our readers will likely consider it as a strange or as strange as it is shocking. The president has been landed or has been leading our country from Poseidon Energy oil rig just off the coast of San Francisco. It's certainly an odd choice for a presidential command center, is it not, or is it not? Not as, uh, not as much as it may seem, as our investigation discovered. Thanks to the testimony of a highly placed anonymous source, the Boston Bugle has learned that the official designation or de designation of the oil rig is actually a control station enclave, giving cr credence to the long-rumored rumors of a secret militarized shadow government known as the enclave that would take the control of the United States in an event of a nuclear conflagration. And so the mystery of the missing president has finally been solved, but in doing so has the Boston Bugle uncovered evidence that the war... That the end of the world in the form of total atomic war is also at hand. Sadly, the president's silence seems to speak volumes. Oh my goodness, these people talk a lot. <laughs> and, and subsequently make me read a lot. Boston headed for first World War, er, World War first World Series win since 1918. Let's talk about war, man. The, by, uh, by Buster Connolly, Boston Bugle staff writer. 
As every resident of Boston is painfully aware, it has been 159 years since the city has reveled in the joy of the World Series victory. Whether from a strikeout error in the outfield or a ball that rolls disastrously through the infielder's legs, defeat has remained our constant unwel unwelcome companion, but not for long. In what has been one of the most exciting World Series races in decades, Boston has achieved a three games to none lead over the unbeatable Texas favorite. Batting, fielding, pitching have all aligned, thanks largely to the, uh, the direction of the legendary coach Dusty Wilder, <laughs> giving this team's victory, uh, giving this team, uh, giving this team's, giving this year's team the best chance they've had for victory in well forever. Even more encouraging than the game for uh, for being played here in Boston is the fact that the team has yet to utilize their star pitcher Matt the Missile Murtog. Murtog, I'm guessing. With, uh, with him on the mound, some are actually predicting not only a series-shattering win, but a no-hitter to boot. Yes, for years, the concession stands of Boston have, f have failed, or fed baseball fans a steady diet of beer, hot dogs, peanuts, and bitter defeat. <laughs> but on Saturday, October 23rd, 2077, the only thing that could snatch away the victory is an act of God or some obscene calamity of man. Tomorrow, my friends, the unthinkable will finally come to pass, and- God, stop starting sentences with and! And life in Boston will never be the same again. You fucking idiots work in a newspaper and you can't even stupid grammar. Computers. Just smash. You should smash this stupid computer. This dumbass that works for a newspaper strong can't write. Open things. Look around. Go go for it, strong loot things. That was like the most long-winded way of saying everything ever that I've ever just read. And, and like it just it didn't read very well. Like the person who wrote that was just weird. I'm I'm talking from like the like hey. writer for the game. I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't like I didn't like what I just read. That was a lot of stupid. Here, I'm gonna take this. Can you loot this man? No, no, no. no. Grab you... that. Strong will get it done. Thanks, Strong. You, you pee strong, dude. But I think that was a that was a mouthful. <laughs> Let's see. Freddy fears house of uh, Freddy fears house of scares. What's it say? American soldier, sock hop, Susie, Lady Liberty, vampire, red Chinese. I don't know what that's supposed to say. I actually don't know what that's supposed to say. I'm guessing Curse of L? E, V, L, L, and, okay, actually, Red Chinese Invader. Okay, yeah, Invader. You're good to go. Nice. Um, alright then. Well, let's loot any and all these filing cabinets that I can. Doesn't really appear to be much in any of them. Doesn't really appear, doesn't really appear to be much here. Uh, I'll take the ammo. Strong? Strong? Hey. Yes, human. Get that. Will don't, do. Don't, I don't say yes, super mutant. No, not another terminal. I can't take anymore. I can read things, but like these people, the way they write, just bothering me. Did you look that strong? Hey, check it out. You'll figure it out one day. Boston Bugle article terminal. Let's see here. Sold. LD? Not the L and the D. O and D. Looks like it's O and D. O and D. Nice. Zing! No! Are these the same articles? Yes. Yes. They're the same articles. <gasps> Whew! <laughs> Sigh of relief. That was a lot of reading. Uh, I believe we are good here. Both corpses of these dudes are looted. I wasn't really expecting Brotherhood people here, but like... Fuck it. It's it's armor that I'm. I think it's T60. That's armor that I'm gonna go slap on like the empty frames we have. Uh, we have an we have a kind of empty frame I think at Hangman's Alley, and we have one maybe two sort of empty frames at Grey Garden. I have some I have some frames that I can you know I can use, and of course I can buy one if I go to Good Neighbor. That's the word I'm looking for. So. Killing the Brotherhood while not nice is a nice source of free power armor upgrades, and we could. I wonder if there's any negative or if there's any reason to not put a settler in power armor. Like, if I if I get a, if I get a power armor frame, and I put T60 on it, and I don't care about that frame at T60, and I tell a settler to use it, will they still do normal chores? Will they still contribute equally? I think that'd be a good idea, because then they're just a settler in power armor, and then, well, when you get a settlement attack, they're just that much more likely to kick ass. <laughs> I mean, we we I mean, shit, we got we got what? We got uh, Oberland Station with the walls and the turrets and like the ridiculous amount of defense, 
And then we just deck everybody out with power armor? I mean, what the hell's anybody gonna do? <laughs> what is anybody gonna do to that settlement? Everybody's got power armor. I should start giving them new weapons. I mean, I do have quite a quite an assortment of weapons. I could like pawn miniguns off on them, and I have so much five millimeter. I could do that, and if anything, I'm giving combat rifles with some 308. I, I have a lot of 308 at this point. And combat rifles are pretty freaking common, and of course that hits pretty hard. So, you know, you know for shenanigans' sake. That just makes me want settlement attacks. That makes me want settlement attacks to occur more often. Because they would be fucking just geared out and ready to go. Do you want me to Assassin's Creed Swan Dive off of here? Is that what you're saying? I ain't doing it. Not right now yet. I gotta loot this stuff. Box of San Francisco Sunlight. San Francisco. Novice. Okay. Well, what do we got here? It's gonna break. It's the dreaded novice one. Told, told you. <laughs> I didn't even have like a warning. Insta break. It's like, nope. Okay, what you got? Mm, I can take that without being over encumbered. Strong got triggered. Surprise, surprise. That portion of mass fusion. I never did go through those doors, did I? Or can I even go through those doors that I'm thinking of? You know what? Save. I am lay curious. Rahaha! <laughs> pound. I totally can. Okay, I forgot about these. So there's literally nothing here on the balcony. <laughs> there's no reason to worry. Me good. Ready, bird? Hi, ready, bird. Okay, so the Boston Bugle. Let's get back to where we were. Excuse me. <laughs> Bugle, excuse me. On the map. Where are we? I was over there in that alley. This is where I need to explore. I don't. No, I think actually, yeah, it's this building, right? That I need to go up the uh, fire escape. Yes, because this is where the dumpsters are. Okay, so I need to come up here and see what was here. Fuck you, strong. Here, you know what? I'm gonna land on you. I hope that hurts. I hope in some here. some. Should have green Shut up. Like strong. strong should have functioning legs like human. Or or a brain. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind the brain, because then he wouldn't keep breaking his legs. But, uh... Oh, now I'm carrying too much, I can't run. Strong has a really bad tendency to break things. Oh, I can't fall down here. Hmm. Can I go? Oh, I can go this way. Strong, where are you at? Come here, man. Hey. Strong listening. You better listen. This what Strong caring for human. Can I give you anything is the question, because, yeah, your inventory is peaceful. Hmm. I should have quite a few things in junk, like typewriters, <laughs> that are really heavy. And then I might as well pawn off on you. Hey, grab anything. I need you, I need you to loot that, bro. Yeah. Check it out. Smash this dumpster. Put your PP in there. Smash. I mean, um, no, that would actually really hurt you. Just, what are you doing? Pathfind, please. There's grab a fusion core warning. Hopefully, I don't fuck it up again. I've been Take doing it a lot good. lately, and I'm grab not that. trying to, but. Check Circumstance. Okay, both. Okay, all. Thanks, man. I'll take your undying loyalty. I guess. <laughs> I can't complain. Alright, man, look at that building. You can jive the life of every party. Every party. Every party. Alright, well, what's up here? Got a hard hat. A floating beer bottle. You know. Radiation, just just radiation things. That's cool. <laughs> just things that are perfectly explained by radiation. Mm, map, please. So, Puglay's that way. That's toward the the lake or whatever it is. This looks like something important. Um, making sure I don't lose my bearings. Private property, no trespassing. So, oh, uh, I'm just making sure I'm going where I think I'm going. So I was already here. All right, so I think I am clear to go hit whatever this is up. Is there anything in these buildings? Did I loot these? Hmm. Yeah, okay, okay. Now I'm sort of remembering where I am. What is over here? This private property. Am I detected at all? I ain't moving. Doesn't mean that there's not gonna be a bajillion landmines or something. 
frag mines, whatever. We, we know how this works. Let's see with that's. Hold on. Get up top. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, Cabot House. So this is, oh, this is the Cabot House. Okay, that makes a little sense then. All right. Uh, before I hit up the Cabot House itself, I don't I don't remember why this was on it. It says this place looks different. I don't remember why the Cabot House was marked on my map. Pikmin's Galley. I I know, but not this place. I guess I've looted these. All right, so we're just gonna check. Rip the, or the mannequin. Oh man, I can't like blow its head off and it'll fall. I can't free the mannequin! Oh man. Yeah, let's just explore around the house and we'll see what's in the Cabot house. See what is what. I don't remember why this is marked. Uh, I, I remember the other one's marked, but not you. Ooh! I think we're detected slightly. <laughs> Private property, no trespassing. This bodes well. What, what enemy do you think we're going to face in here? Requires a key. Why is this marked on the map then? Maybe I can't do anything at the Gabbit House yet? I oh. Oh. You don't have a, a bounding box. <laughs> I can't walk into it this way, but I can certainly fly into it. So yeah, I don't have the key that might be associated with a quest down the line, and I'm trying to think... I think I remember talking to somebody, but top of my head, no, I'm drawing a blank. So you know what? We can't do anything at the Cabot House. That's been decided. <laughs> we need a key, clearly. Uh, I've already looted that gr or that grid, so we're staying kind of toward the ocean here, or the lake, or whatever the fuck this is. But uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna stay over here. Uh, the port, the canal, the something or another, the body of water. So there you go. Okay, I think I remember this for some reason. I didn't kill a couple ghouls here once. Or am I just remembering a different grave? I think I'm just remembering a different grave. Okay, what the fuck is detecting me? There's something here! There's been a whole lot of something detecting me this whole time. I don't know what it is. It's really weird. Some, ooh, 50 count round. Something's just watching me in the distance. Wherever you are, you creeper, just, just come on out. I just want to play. I just want to play with you. Ooh. Ooh. The game's leading me somewhere. The game is leading me places. And before this is part of the cabin house, and it's like, yo, dog. No key. Tee hee. <laughs> Apartment. So the cabin house is what? Okay, the that's the cabin house. Inch? Oh. Who's here? You weren't there a minute ago. You were not there. You were not there a minute ago. Fuck you. <laughs> you were not there. So that, that dude loaded in or something stupid. Let's, let's see what's the apartment. It's not marked on the map, but I'm assuming it's like the other apartment we found with just a random little uh, whatever with raiders in it. Oh. Strong not understand why human always take garbage. Must be human thing. Nah, man. Strong hasn't figured out the be the beauty that is junk. One day Strong will know. Nice. One day Strong will understand. One day Strong will just stop disliking everything that I do. Today is not that day. <laughs> God damn it, Strong. I don't even know what I'm looting at this point. I just know it's stuff that I want. Oh. I know I all I want all of this. Mm. Am I not gonna be anybody in here trying to kill me? That was a fucking hollow tape. Ah, I don't know what hollow tape it was, so I have to load the save. The save was before I loaded or opened the apartment. No, the apartment door. No, I don't know what. Mm. <laughs> Damn it! I hate whenever this happens and I get a hollow tape, but I don't. Ah, because there's so many in my inventory, and there's no point in dropping them all off because then you have to keep picking them back up if you ever need them later. I wish there was like a recently added tab. That would be cool. That would make sense. All right, well, let's go back into the apartment. <laughs> Piss Strong off even more. <laughs> why are you Why are you picking that thing, girl, stupid human? Shut up, Strong. No, 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 no. Nobody asked you. Okay, well, let's just go play it. There's nothing really else over here. Ladies Auxiliary Tape 8. Recording surveillance tape number 8. 
Ladies Watch Auxiliary of Boston. This is Becca Linkowski. We're doing a watch in the North End tonight at my mother-in-law's place. Let's see. Lately, Dave. Gemma, what was in the news here last week? Noella's made a cheesecake as big as a table. No, 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 not that. I mean, didn't somebody get mugged or something up the way? Oh, yeah, right. Ernest did just get a whole lot of new mugs up at the corner store. Mm. I like Gemma. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go get plastered. Alright, seems good, man. Okay, my inventory is all but full. And Strong's gonna get PJ Salt with me once more. God damn it, Strong. This is all your fault. Ugh. I swear, he's just taking so long to progress with because everything I do he just likes. Ugh. Uh, a cat bowl. There's the overencumbered damage. Strong, hold still. I think... Eh. Eh. I deleted this. Hopefully this container works for you strong. What do I have that's super heavy? Oh, yeah. That's a good bit of weight right there. Mm-hmm. So what's heavy in here? Bowling pin. Tons of milk bottles. Some of those plates. I feel like maybe going to... What's it called? 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 What can I never remember? Good neighbor. Good neighbor. Good neighbor wouldn't be a bad idea. But, like, I don't know. No. What's got, probably going to end up happening is most of it's strong, junk, and I don't Take sell junk. Grab that. But he has a lot of power armor that. on him, so that's where a lot Check of his weight came from. Strong, I don't want to sell that. I want to keep that. Grab anything useful. So We're his inventory kind of has Grab that. precious strong, cargo. <laughs> Stuff Check we want to keep, I good think. Idea, good idea, Grab human. Good idea, Grab anything human. useful. Okay. Take anything okay. good. Grab that. Strong get that. Get it done. Okay. You good? Strong can do here, that. Grab anything Almost useful. done. Okay. Take but, anything uh, good. yeah. <laughs> Looks like it is time to wrap the episode up here, Check though, guys. Episode good 416. Idea, I don't know what the deal is with the Cabot strong. House. I'm assuming, again, that's probably quest-related that I've tripped down the line or something somewhere down the line. I'll figure that out. Shh, get out of the way. Sooner or later, I'm sure. No more brain fungus. Yeah. Let's check the map. So, we're done with this. We're going to Pikmin Gallery. Not galley, it's gallery. And I think after that, maybe we'll just go do this stupid quest with Preston? I'm trying to think, was there anything that made sense to do beforehand? I don't think Strong is going to hate what we're doing. I don't think he's going to hate me helping with humans. Like a settlement thing. I think he might even like that. If anything, it just gives me an excuse to kill shit, and hopefully he likes that too. But yeah, <laughs> we'll see about it. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But anyway, guys, got to go ahead and wrap it up here. Episode 416, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.